हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू दिस इज राजन घई कंपनी सेक्रेटरी एंड यू आर फाइनेंशियल मार्केट मैनेजमेंट टीचर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज क्लियरिंग सेटलमेंट एंड लीगल फ्रेमवर्क अंडर फाइनेंशियल मार्केट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज वी नो दैट वंस वी वंस आर ट्रेड इज एग्जीक्यूटेड इट नीड्स टू बी सेटल्ड सो दैट्स वाई stock exchange helps you because there is a specific trading settlement time which is called t plus 2 means second day after trading means if you are trading on monday your account would be settled till wednesday if you are working uh, if you are trading on a uh, uh, tuesday then it means after two days means on thursday your account would be settled this is called t plus 2 rolling settlement for all securities this is going on in nsc uh then uh, next is your transaction cycle this is important topic transaction cycle how if you are uh, making any transaction if you buy or sell any kind of securities how your transactions cycle happens you can see over here this is your funds or securities means let's say i am having 10000 shares of reliance industries so it means i am a seller so if i want to sell there must be a buyer so this is securities having with me 10000 alliance industry shares what i did that uh, i just uh, make a account i just open a account with the icic bank means a dematerialization account you can say icic bank becomes my broker so the decision to trade is there once i get or uh, my account matched with one buyer that one that buyer wants also the 10000 securities of reliance industries it means are selling or buying agreement is done once the trade execute automatically i want uh, my account would be credited with that amount means because i am selling the same and my ownership transfer directly to that person this is called settlement of trade so this uh, is called transaction cycle which basically is taken as work taken as a cycle in the security industry in the share industry so your transactions your economic transactions mean your buying and selling transactions if you are buying any security or selling a security your account would be settles like this which is called t plus 2 days okay we can understand the steps once more if you want to a person holding asset security funds either to meet his liquidity needs or to reshuffle his holding decides to buy or sell the securities he selects a broker like i told you that icic the order is converted to a trade once your order done because uh, your securities matched with a buyer 10000 security you want to sell and some person other person there is a uh, who wants to buy that 10000 shares it means your securities or your trade matched this is called matching seller by order at the end of trade cycle the trades are netted because you want your funds back because you are selling and that person wants ownership so this is called your trading cycle or transfer of cycle now what are the settlement agencies involved into that because it doesn't mean that only one agency is there that stock exchange you just bought you just uh, uh, sold those shares because there uh, are some kind of intermediary there is some kind of agencies involved into that then your total trade or your trades or your trades are settled one is your clearing corporation national security clearing corporation limited this is responsible for post trade activities means once your trade happen it doesn't mean that uh, uh, everything is over your trade or your transactions need to be settled so there must be some clearing houses are there so clearing and settlement of trade and risk manager are the central functions next you can see your clearing members are there like uh, depository depository party spends we know that depository is there there are two depository in india that is nsdl and cdsl nsdl can national security depository limited central security depository limited nsdl is a uh, you can say under nsc national stock exchange so these clearing members are there those clearing members helps you to make your trade settle then custodians are there yes custodians is called that entity that party 
who is having your share certificates we know that uh, without having the dmat account we cannot operate in the market so that's why once you enter into that uh, security market you have to give your share certificates to that uh, depository participants which works under depository so it means these are called custodian if you want to uh, want back your share certificates means uh, this is called process is called rematerialization means first one process is called dmat that is once you are uh, uh, getting or uh, electronic shares means conversion of your physical certificates into electronic it is called dematerialization or vice versa clearing banks are there because uh, once you are purchasing any kind of shares, it means uh, you have to put that funds into that uh, DMAT account. Let's say I am having an account with ICIC Bank. ICIC Bank is my stock brokers. So it means my DMAT account with ICIC Bank or let's say my bank account is with HDFC. It means I have to link my HDFC accounts to with my ICIC Bank accounts because once my account would be created at the time of sale in the same way if I want to purchase new shares it means I have to put funds into that so functions of clearing banks are there the clearing banks are required to provide the following services a single window like branch network in cities that cover bulk of trading come clearing members so RTGS is there real time gross settlement we know that so depositories we understood and then plus one also we did that depository now next we understand your settlement process and your capital market segment of NSC NSC national stock exchange is there then depository depository I told you earlier CDSL SDSL then clearing house corporation limited is there clearing banks are there so it means NSC once you are opening your account, NSCCL is there, then custodian is there because uh, your share certificate goes to that custodian. Okay, then uh, next you can see custodian clearing banks are there, depository are there. So this is the settlement process I explained earlier. The same is there. So this you can see. Next we have some different terms. Let's start with that. This is very interesting financial market because we know that uh, this is the only market which is still operating because uh, in this situations other markets are off. So let's see some other basic terms into that. This is very much important SEBI prohibition of insider trading because uh, SEBI is their security exchange board of India which uh, ensures you that uh, if you are uh, doing any kind of trade there would uh, uh, any not any bad thing happen with you that uh, if there is there then we are here to support you malpractice of insider trading affects the innocent investor insider means uh, like let's say there are some kind of sensitive information which is called selling or buying in securities on the basis of price sensitive unpublished information of a listed corporate which if published could lead to a fall or rise in the price of shares of the corporate means if any kind, kind of insider information is there let's say uh, we take an example to understand this what do you mean by ins insider information if you want to sell or buy let's say one uh, new IPO comes in for any kind of industries let's say a company limited is there a limited is there uh, they want to uh, enter into the market with new IPO let's say there are some persons who knows that uh, information that price of this uh, securities would be this if that uh, informations published in the market automatically might be that the security price could fall or rise reason being is that because other persons they know the informations earlier means before the IPO comes in you know the information that price would be there it means you definitely uh, check your profits that I want to purchase more shares for that this is called insider trading so this is totally prohibited because this is the act that is SEBI prohibition of insider trading regulation 2015 act is there which supports you which regulates the transactions so the important definition you can say dealing in security means an act of subscri subscribing buying selling or agreeing to subscribe buy or sell in dealing in securities by any person either as principal or agent 
insider is called a person who knows the information which was connected with the company whether you are a director whether you are a any kind of manager of that company you know the information once you leak the information once you publish those information which are very much important very much important for a uh, market so once those information gets published in the market before the securities comes into the market those are called price sensitive information once these price sensitive information comes into the market this is called insider trading which is totally banned by sebi because the regulations 2015 prohibition insider act is there i hope you understood the basics for that next we move to your next topic that is sebi prohibition of fraudland and unfair tra- trade practices relating to securities market regulation 2003 so it means you cannot if sebi you cannot do any kind of fraudland activities into that if sebi investigate into case cases of market manipulation and fraudland of unfair trade practices means misleading informations uh, sensitive informations market manipulations are there then these transactions would be totally you can say shall be prohibited fraud includes expression omission or concealment committed whether in deceitful manner means if intentionally you are doing wrong thing with your clients as well as uh, in the market that automatically your trade would be totally is called prohibited okay so let uh, let's see prohibition of manipulated fraud and unfair trade practices if it involves fraud and may include all any of the following indulging in any, any act which create false or misleading appearance of in the securities market dealing in securities not intended to affect transfer of beneficial ownership paying offering or agreeing to pay or offer directly or indirectly to any person or inducing such person for dealing in any securities means if you try to inflate the price try to suppress the information which is a uh, way to transfer it so once these things happens automatically you can say these are called fraudlet becomes which are totally prohibited with by sebi to depository act 1996 depository we understand because once you are uh, making your physical certificates into or once you are converting your physical certificates into electronic certificates you can see that there should be depository part of depository act okay then uh, we have majority there are some more acts also which comes into existence once you are moving for that let your income tax also because if you are purchasing any kind of shares any kind of securities it means we know that we have to pay tax on that you can see over here income tax act 1961 is there because if you are purchasing or selling any kind of securities or you are taking any kind of benefits then you have to pay that because if you are selling any after just uh, keeping those securities for more than 1 years it means you have to pay long term capital gain tax which is called ltcg which comes under capital gain and that is 20% if your uh, benefit is more than 1 lakh within 12 months let's say if i have one share of uh, ICICI Bank. If I am purchasing that those shares, then it means within one years, if I am selling those securities and I am getting into profit, then I have to pay the tax, which is called STCG, Short Term Capital Gain Tax. Otherwise, if uh, after retaining those shares uh, for minimum one years, once I am selling those shares after one years, it means I have to pay the tax, which is called Long Term Capital Gain. tax so income tax is also there so we need to understand about income tax also but uh, a bit understanding is sufficient for that because uh, we are into uh, capital gain okay so if you are transferring any kind of securities capital assets or transferring or selling any capital assets it means you have to pay the tax which is called capital gain i hope you understood so if you have any query then uh, just mention in the comment section till then 
ಗುಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು